I am Suman Kanuganti. I am the CEO and co-founder of Personal AI. Our company is Human AI Labs. And over the past three years, over the past three years, we've been on a mission. A mission to reimagine how we communicate with each other. A mission to reimagine how we experience our ideas and how we experience people in our world, in our lives. <clears throat> you know, when we focus on solving a hard human problem, we not only solve it, but we create positive impacts to our lives. I experienced the first time at my previous company, Ivra, where we fundamentally reimagine how blind people access, negotiate with the physical environment. Ira was about our vision. Personal AI is about our memory. Look, we all forget, don't we? And we wish we remembered more. The amount of time in a day is fixed. And don't we wish that we had more time every single day? Who doesn't wish? Because of this, the number of connections in our life is limited to just five and we cannot establish like deeper connections with each other. And we always wish our connections were deeper, stronger. But what if, what if these are not just wishes? What if there is a personal AI of you that can actually simply scale your memory, your time, and your connections? That's what personal AI is all about. It's about continuous connection with ease not only today, but forever into the future. Let's break it down. We have multiple breakthroughs that actually make the true vision of what personal AI really is, or what it meant to be. Number one, we built something called a memory stack. A memory stack is a digital vault, a digital memory of you. This one evolves with you. And it's created automatically with everyday communications and everyday conversations. It's almost like a digital memory of your life. We also developed something I think is insanely beautiful. We developed something called a personal language model. This model, this model trains entirely on your memory stack. This model mimics the way you express yourself. This model is grounded in your facts, in your opinions. And it evolves to your style, to who you are over a period of time. And that is the personal language model. We have combined these two products, the memory stack, as well as this personal AI model, in something that is super simple that we use every single day. Every one of us uses it we have combined that into something called a messaging application. But this messaging application will reimagine how we communicate, how we stay connected, how we exchange our ideas, how this AI integrates into every one of our lives. That together, my dear friends, is called Personal AI Model 1. And today, we are announcing this Personal AI Model 1 will be available for every one of us. Every one of us. The personal AI model one will scale your memory. It will also help you scale your connections. This personal AI model of us will reinvent how AI is actually perceived, how it is used, how it can be beneficial to our society, the way it is supposed to use for every consumer on the planet. You probably are communicating with these messaging apps every single day. So what's wrong with these messaging apps? Well, the communication is fragmented. The communication is fragmented. The messaging is manual. I have to type on every single message, every single moment. There are different topics, different people, different contexts, different apps, different venues. I have people in my life, my family, my teams, my colleagues, my communities, my clients, my customers. It is fragmented. It's broken. 
and every conversation requires different context, it's cognitively burdening. It's stressful. We are super proud, super delighted to introduce personal AI copilot. When you are messaging with your personal AI copilot, your personal AI will draft responses or messages on your behalf in your voice. Now, of course, you will have control over it. Of course, you can edit it. Of course, you can review it and send it when you are ready. Now, it's also important. I mean, we are all, you know, some of us are tech people, but the goal is everyday consumer AI, right? So, this copilot is not like any other copilots that you may have seen. This is your personal AI copilot. And it can answer questions like you, with you. And it can understand the context in your life. What makes this personal AI model so personal? You need to start off with something we probably are familiar with, the large language models. The large language models, their mission generally is to outperform human intelligence. Now, there are definitely use cases for it. And I believe that's the path to artificial general intelligence. Now, these are great capabilities. There are uses for it. But of course, we are all here for a reason. We are all here because we care too much about artificial personal intelligence. We want things to be personal. We want things to be ours. Now, large language models require large amounts of data. And in most cases, it's your data. It's hard to train. It takes a lot of money. And it solves good productive use cases. It's great. There are uses for it. But it's not accessible to everyday consumer. And it is not personal. It does not understand us. And more importantly, it is also still in the control of big tech. Now, there are some fine-tuned models. You can customize the models. You can fine-tune it. Some startups are doing it, which is great. But it is still not personal. Well, our approach, on the contrary to anything that exists today, is all the way onto the far right-hand side. We want to be ultra-personal. And we want to create a model that is so small that actually works with one individual on one individual's data and understand the person so well. And that, my dear friends, is personal language model. And that personal language model is 120 million parameters in contrast with a 170 billion parameters of a large language model. And that's how we are able to make it ultra personal. So to summarize, the personal AI model one, you have this amazing multi-model memory, which is in your stack, right? It is far more grounded. We talked about it. There's no hard dependency on the big tech. So that's great, because it's important for us to own our lives. And it's super fast. It actually trains within seconds, and sometimes minutes. There is something called personal score that will actually guide you through this experience, like what makes your model so personal. And more importantly, it is cost effective. It is super cost effective. And it's patented, published. You can read all about it. And that together makes our characteristics of what makes personal AI personal. And it will be accessible everyday consumer. So we talked about a revolutionary messaging app. We talked about AI co-pilot for your connection. We talked about personal model for yourself. But there is one more thing. You're probably sending messages to your colleagues, your teens, your communities, your friends, and to your families. But guess what? You do not own any single thing. You do not. We want to flip that narrative. You own every single thing, all of it. Every single thing, you own it, your stack. And we've been partnering with Oasis Labs for past three years to give people the control and the choice that they wish to on blockchain technology. Look, I wouldn't be standing here talking in front of all of you if uh, the true intent of personal AI, it's indeed has to be yours. It is not a personal assistant. It is a personal AI asset. It's an asset of your life. So look, 40 years ago, 40 years ago on this very day, 
Mr. Steve Jobs, he said, never trust a computer that you cannot lift. And that was the beginning of personal computing era. And we all have computers in our pockets now. That was the beginning of personal computing era. And 40 years later, today, never, never trust an AI that you cannot steer. I mean, look, we've been through, I'm old enough, we've been through the personal computing era. This is the beginning of personal intelligence era. It truly is. When you're putting AI in your hands, the one thing that I would ask is it's about trust yourself. We're talking a lot about everybody having their own personal AI. How do we make it accessible for everybody? Yes, sure, simple messaging interface will make it accessible, but what else? Well, we will make it accessible by making the experience and the beginning of personal AI for free. It's gonna be free. The human-to-human -human messaging is gonna be free. Your personal AI model training and creation is gonna be free. And yes, your AI co-pilot will also gonna be free if you had to truly make an impact to everyday consumers, everyday people, we got to put this in the hands of people. Because I believe the future of AI is personal. The future of AI has to be personal. You create your personal AI, you create your brand, you can create your profile that actually belongs to you. That is, of course, s.personal.ai, that is my brand, because I'm ready to take control of my life. Creating personal AI is like investing in yourself. It's an asset of you. It's actually investing in you because the more you invest, the more you build your stack. The more stack you have, the more personal it gets. And this personal model, finally, you don't have to seek my permission to download your model into the future for people to actually access it. So if you just fast forward like 100 years from now, how the history is told, you can have one artificial general intelligence or you can have a billion or multiple billions of personal intelligence models because that is taking control of your life. So with that, please invest in yourself, take control, the future of AI is personal, and you can simply scan the QR code, the access is now open, and it is free, and it's yours forever. Thank you. <laughs>